All right, hey, so it's been a little while. Um, we are now just under three weeks out to my first show. To be honest, the main reason why I haven't really recorded is kind of laziness, I guess. I just, like, these past few weeks have definitely been tough. Kind of why, like, even just getting the camera up today has been pretty hard to get myself to do it, because it's like, like, if I was to explain, like, any extra expenditure, I just, I don't want to do right now. I want to do as minimal as possible, but might as well just get the camera out, do what I said I was going to do, and take you guys along with me today, because my calories have changed a fair bit lately. I don't have any more high days. I've just got a uh, training day and non-training day macros, which I'll pop up just here. But yeah, today is a non-training day for me, so I will take you guys along with me to show you what I eat on a non-training day. But yeah, so for breakfast, I just have the same thing I normally have, which is just the two slices of toast, the um, egg whites, spinach, mushrooms, and a bit of ketchup, and then the multivitamins and stuff. I didn't bother showing you that because you've seen it before. Um, but the other stuff I will show you through the day. And Sarah and I are just about to go for my usual walk down to the coffee shop to get my steps in and to get a nice coffee. Yeah, so Sarah's still in her makeup, and I just thought I'd say a large part of the reason why I also haven't recorded is just like, you can clearly see I don't have a lot of energy, and um, I feel like, I feel like I've had to put on energy for a good video, so to speak, so I'm kind of like, oh, I don't have energy today, I won't film because it won't be enjoyable, but then I'm also kind of in two minds because it's like, that's kind of putting out fakeness I guess and I kind of want to be real like you're not going to be all sunshine and rainbows on prep it's it, it gets hard especially as close as you are to prep yeah like, like you said uh, like especially these past few weeks like I've, I've felt it so I just I thought screw it I'll just record to be real just show you guys what it's actually like and not be like oh three weeks out I feel fantastic <laughs> can't wait for the next three <laughs> But yeah, so um, still gonna get it done, still gonna get this video up, uh, try to get a little bit more out if I can. I try not to be lazy, just just push for it, I guess. But yeah, I think Sarah's almost done, and I will see you guys when we get coffee. All right, so Sarah wants me to do an outfit of the day. So what are we wearing today, Sarah? Start from the bottom. Adidas. What are those? Adidas. You have some Gymshark. Gymshark matching sports bra too. Wow. Kmart, what? top. <laughs> <laughs> And key sunglasses. I still look bougie while walking. You. <laughs> Your turn. Alright. O O T D. Hit me. Oh god. What are you doing? <laughs> uh -oh. Start from the bottom. I did that shoes. Ooh. Beautiful. So comfy for walking. Just optimal. Gymshark pants. Don't know what collection. Doesn't matter. We got the Gymshock Apollo t-shirt in grey or whatever, sleek grey, slate grey, whatever it's called. I don't care. I'm going to add it as top. Hat. Hat. Yeah. That one. Right, right. <laughs> Let's go get coffee. Why'd you go around it, Sarah? I'm hoping we're not the only people that do that because I know it's still like superstitious, but fuck that, I don't want any bad luck. <laughs> what about you? You can, you can have bad luck if you want, but I'm not getting bad luck. No, thank you. Fuck that. I'll just walk around. <laughs> it's not hard. So I thought we would do sort of a little something where, well, this is more so Sarah's idea, but we would kind of go along the topic of how preps sort of affected our relationship or what we've had to face, I guess. Yeah. So, thought, well, Sarah thought it'd be a good idea for like her to get her input and say what she's had to face and deal with. Uh, Should we do our um, coffee orders first? Yeah. In terms of coffee, um, Sarah got an ice long black with a dash of almond milk, which looks foul, but it tastes pretty good. I also got like a little yogurt snack pot because I haven't had breakfast yet. And me, as per usual, I just got a long black with an extra shot, a little bit of cold water because I'm a pussy with heat. Standard, standard, standard dieting things. So we're going to talk about things we had to deal with in terms of prep and our relationship. So what would you like to say about that? Should we go, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> so start of prep is really good. It's really easy because you're basically on a lot of food. So you're not deprived at that stage. I only really started, I wouldn't even say struggling at like about eight weeks, but like, I wouldn't say struggling, but like I noticed I was 
your mood uh, was changing. I was dieting and I was slowly becoming a little bit more irritable. Yeah. But like, like I said earlier this morning, uh, at, probably last week, um, there's definitely like, I, I felt him, this has been the hardest it's been. Mm. You can like, you can literally see in my energy, like if you look two videos back, like the one where I was making my pre-workout meal, you could literally just see how I was acting and the, the way I was going about things and even just the way I was talking. Yeah. Had a lot more energy to it. And like, so you, cause your body starts like subconsciously and subconsciously starts doing things to sort of like avoid spending excess energy because you're not giving it enough. Mm. But yeah. I think people are starting to notice now and people are starting to, you know, realize how things are affecting you now more so than ever. Um, it's hard because in certain situations he'll react in a certain way, but it's, I know you're not like that, like normally, but to him it feels like he's just being normal. It's, right like, it's, now. Like, it's like little things, like say, you. <laughs> It's something that, uh, that I saw on a YouTube video as well that I, like, so I know I'm not the only one, but like you grow attachments to certain things. Like I have a specific oh oats bowl. If someone uses my oat bowl, which is actually her bowl, I get my pissed bowl. off. And like just certain things, cause it's like you're in such a routine and like even like the utensils and the bowls and stuff you use fit that routine. Like the, the, the oat bowl is like a perfect size for it kind of thing. And like certain cups that I use for like my pre and like all that, like it, I, I don't like lose my shit and like stop beating people but like I, I get annoyed yeah which like, I, I know it's, like, it's something so stupid but it's, it, it's he'll message me and he'll be like did you use this container and I was like yeah why did you need it and he's like you know that's my container like I always use that container I'm like I don't too fair she's she, like she does see me use it all the time yes, but I like I shouldn't be thinking that like everyone knows that that's that's the container that I use for yeah. that kind of thing like like yeah she's seen me use it but she doesn't think like oh he has this kind of connection with this container. I probably shouldn't use it. But it's the fact that I have to like know that's your spoon for this meal, that's your bowl for this meal, that's your container to cook your vegetables so in. It's like emotional it's attachments. Like... <laughs> it, ma it makes the meal more of the meal that like you love. But like for me, I have to watch what I'm doing because I don't want an argument. So I, I have to ask him, I'm like, can I use this bowl? I wouldn't say it's an argument. It's just it's me getting like a little bit irritable towards you. And, I'm yeah, and then I'll like, like get wasted. grumpy and just not speak to you yeah, for like exactly. five minutes. And I hate that. Yeah, so I'd say number one, uh, I'm a lot more irritable, so she does deal with that. But you know, it's like it's not that's not actually me. It's yeah. like it's like prep me. But I feel like if, because we've been together for over three years now, yeah. and I feel like if you were fresh new in a relationship and you go through and your partner is going through prep, you don't really understand what they're truly like normally. I feel like because we have been together for so long, I know that this is just a phase. Like it's. It's just a moment in time that you're going to be acting like this. Yeah, you just have to kind of learn what things tick you off because all of your emotions, you're very touchy at the moment because yeah, you're so irritable. At the start, it's okay. And then you just have to push through like half a year of this and then you'll go back to normal. Like it's, Grumpy, no. Yeah. No sex. But yeah, <laughs> I just want to say, Cause like it, it's been, cause like I've I've heard of so many people like breaking up when they're prepped because like they do they become miserable fuckers on their prep and then the, like the relationship falls apart. But like I'm I'm thankful that I've got someone like Sarah who understands kind of that it's a short period of time. They understand it's not really me, and she's also ridiculously supportive. Cause like that's made a huge difference in terms of prep. Cause I don't really see or speak to a lot of my like friends. I guess cause majority of my friends or I guess people that I went to school with. Because all they do is just go out and drink and party and stuff. So I don't really have a lot of like close friends that are sort of like in my area of what I do, which is like you know gym. I like to live like a healthier lifestyle, I guess. Friends that understand what so, you enjoy. If 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 you wanna if you want a friend and you kind of like fit that <laughs> criteria. But yeah. So I just want to say a huge thank you to you for being who you are and being understandable and understandable. Understandable, understandable. to me, not leaving me because I'm miserable. No. Number three of what is pretty different on prep is also there is um, there's not a lot of um, loving if you if you get what I mean because yeah. um, kind of put back to that thing of like energy expenditure I'm yeah gonna, so so back I'm just gonna eat my yogurt while you talk about this <laughs> yeah so back to about the energy expenditure kind of thing it's your body's only getting so much energy it kind of wants to minimize 
any excess energy, I guess. So you and your body's trying to like prioritize, like, hey, you need this to live, this to live, this to live. We don't Function. really, we don't really need to um, procreate right now, so we we'll, we won't worry about um, those, those hormones. Wasting energy on that. And not to mention, like, yeah, so like, because you're not eating enough fats and stuff, your hormone regulation kind of goes to shit as well. So like, your testosterone slowly starts dropping, and that sort of stuff in terms of like your hormones for wanting to procreate kind of goes away. So obviously, there's that's another pretty impactful thing on some relationships is obviously there's not that much loving happening in the relationship. So that can be hard for some people, you know, like it does happen every now and then, especially when I get a little more carbs, like you just kind of feel like you have that extra energy. But not only that, it's like also because you're in such a routine, it's like you don't really want... You don't like, have time for yeah, it. Yeah, like you feel like you got to eat at this time, you got to go train, you got to come home and eat again. You got to like try and get to like a rested state so you can sleep better and you want to try to get the most out of your sleep, so you want to go to sleep on time. Everything is like so structured and you're like, oh, if we have sex, that's going to take like say half an hour out of like the night, it's going to be like half an hour of sleep I'm not getting. Yeah. kind of thing so and also like your heart rate obviously gets elevated so you think and it's, it's all these weird things that like go through your head having a partner doing prep you have to understand that like you literally do it together even though that i'm not doing it it's the fact that it is such a selfish sport that you have to understand that you're being like you're being so selfish no like you have to understand that just because they don't give you attention like you appreciate all the attention that I give you. Like, like, like I, I still, I still, like, I love her. Yeah. Well, but. obviously. She's. <laughs> but, yeah, so even if Nick doesn't show me any affection during the day, I show him affection just to know that I'm, you know, still here. And It makes a huge difference. Yeah. Especially when I'm having a really bad day and she's just, like, just being in my presence and talking to me. Like, other people will come and talk to me and I just, it's, like, it's kind of like, fuck off, I don't want to speak to you. Sarah's, like, the only exception, really. <laughs> Where it's like, it's almost like comforting until she steals my oat bowl. <laughs> and then it's World War Three. <laughs> if we weren't together for so long, I would be like, why aren't you giving me attention? I would I would be feeling, you know, like you don't love me. Because yeah, you, you, yeah, you don't, you don't put and in the same amount of like energy into the, relation, the relationship. And for yeah. um, a lot of people, that could be another breaking point of relationships because it is, it's like, oh. It feels oh, well, very you, one-sided. Yeah, like you're not getting much back. Yeah. Which I, I try, I try my best. Like I still take Sarah out on some, some dates occasionally where we go for like picnics where she'll eat food and I'll watch her eat food. <laughs> or we'll go to movies or something. But it, it's still not quite the same. Yeah. But we yeah. actually, the other night we had a, um, we made our own Italian restaurant at home. And we basically just cooked our own pasta and like you obviously weighed it all and macro jaws in. Zucchini we, noodles. Zucchini noodles. And we had like a little candlelit dinner and dressed up just in our like backyard around by our pool. Like, and that was nice. And we played music and it was like we were on a little date night, but obviously you weren't stressed about eating or anything like that because yeah. it was at home. Would you say that's about it? I just want to give a little help to people if they're in a relationship and their partner's going through prep. It's not that they don't love you. It's not that they don't find you attractive. Um, it's just a point in time because they are trying to reach their goals and this is it's like tunnel vision you just you focus yeah. on that one thing like and you have to understand that that's your goal right now so top tip communicate communication is key and love no matter what even when i annoy you <laughs> Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that little cringy chat, um, got something out of it. But yeah, so that's just our, our insight personally of what it's like going through a relationship on prep. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed. Let's walk home. <laughs> Alright, so with meal two now that we're finally home is pretty much the same as what it was the last time I showed you guys. So it's just 100 grams of chicken, 300 grams of spud light, 150 grams of green veggies and 100, sorry, 10 grams of perinase. That's what she's looking like. All right, so it's starting to feel a lot more official now. I've actually just registered for the Townsville show that I'll be doing. So yeah, we've uh, entered in that. Yeah, basically for the Townsville show, I've registered to do the juniors because there's no teens division this year. Uh, the weight category, so I'm pretty sure um, it was the under 72s because at the moment we're at 70.8 as of today. Um, and then the open class as well. So yeah, I've registered for this show and then I've got the state titles the following week and then in saying I qualify, 
I'll have nationals in Sydney three weeks after the state titles. So yeah, it's all, it's all happening. But yeah, with that being said, I will catch you guys with my next meal where things actually start being a little bit different from what I was eating in my previous video. All right, so meal three is about to go down. So it's basically just two wraps with uh, chicken, lettuce, mushrooms, Dijon mayo, and that's it. So that's what we're looking at. Delicious. And for meal number four, we are doing my high volume burrito bowl. It's pretty good. It's uh, 250 grams of cauliflower rice, 120 grams of chicken breast, 45 grams of tomato salsa, and 70 grams of lettuce. So yeah, this is usually my go-to volume dinner. It's, uh, it's a lot of volume for what it actually holds, I guess, because it's cauliflower rice. So yeah, me and Sarah are gonna sit down and eat this. Well, she's eating her own thing. Um, some oh. avocado on toast. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my burrito bowl and we're gonna watch Twilight because for some weird reason we decided to rewatch it. Um, but what I might do here is I'll insert a clip of me training. I think it'll be back. So you, there's some sort of training footage, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that. And then I'll see you with my meal five. Yeah, I'll see you with meal five. Growing up in Cali, yeah, you know I love the weather Limelight hit him and you know I handle pressure I do what I want so I'm never saying never I get what I want so they call me go-getter Yeah, I know he does it good but you know I do it better So misunderstood, she wanted then I let her Everybody knows if I want her then I get her She gave me that look, yeah, she knows she thinks I'm clever I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it so they hate everybody Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes like a crook while I put it on display I don't do it by the book, no, I do my own thing That's why every single hook got them singing like me And I ain't in any rush, cause I'm finally getting paid Don't believe in any luck, I believe I'm self-made, yeah The top sip a shots of Patron I will never stop till the road is my home I'm about to pop, everybody's gonna know When the beat drops, they be yelling ho Girls in crop tops, drop tops at a shows Mini skirts rock, got us all like whoa All the pretty ladies lined up front row Driving me crazy, I just wanna take them home Got it on lock, yeah, you can call me pro Parties on the blocks, make sure the girls know Now it's getting hot up in here, oh no Think Nelly had it right, better take off all your clothes Future's looking bright, now I'm finally in the zone Three years of my life, I committed to the growth Soldier boy, tell him number one ringtone I'm the reason people texting cause they're blowing up your phone I don't think I do it good, no I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes like a crook while I put it on display I don't do it by the book, no I do my own thing That's why every single hook got them singing like me and I ain't in any rush, cause I'm finally getting paid Don't believe in any luck, I believe I'm self-made, yeah All right, so for meal number five, it's my oats. So normally I would prioritize most of my carbs around pre and post training, but on my rest days, because obviously I'm not training, I kind of prioritize my carbohydrates close towards bed. 
because when you eat carbohydrates and glucose kind of goes and actually releases serotonin, so it can help improve sleep, which is really beneficial when you're deep in prep because your sleep kind of goes to shit. So that'll help. So you've got 100 grams of oats, 130 grams of strawberries, and 20 grams of protein, and seven grams of dark chocolate. But yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy this and uh, keep watching some stuff with Sarah and relax. And then I'll see you guys for my last little pre-bed snack. Alrighty, and just before bed, I'm gonna have the usual casein custard. Um, but this time I got a new flavor. It's the uh, chocolate hazelnut. So I'm excited to see if this is nice. The last one I had was a coffee tiramisu. That was really good. But yeah, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you get to see what I eat on an on-training day. So we're now just under three weeks out. So not long to go now. I will see you guys in the next video.